there is nothing there there on this care 19 story because there there is there i mean uh, i'll just stop i'll just stop there North Dakota is preparing to launch another contact tracing app for COVID-19 as criticism for its current app is continuing to get louder. The governor today defending what's out there now, saying user data is being protected. Valley News Team's Alexandra Kay explains what the governor had to say and the new app on its way. Governor Doug Burgum responded swiftly to the criticisms of the CARE 19 app. I'm smiling because it's unusual that the app that has no commercial benefit, uh, no data to sell, and has no data to share is the one that's being scrutinized. The blowback came from privacy app developer Jumbo Privacy, which said the CARE 19 app was sharing users' location data with several third parties, including to those who may expose it to advertisers. Burgum says the CARE 19 app's intentions were always clear and transparent. We could have done a better job of updating the specificity in the privacy policy that explained how data was coming one way from Foursquare to the app. North Dakota Department of Health is still going to use the CARE 19 app and Burgum says that a second app, CARE 19 Exposure, is coming in a few weeks. Which will utilize uh, the also uh, completely private uh, Bluetooth technology that's coming from Apple and Google. And that will again uh, provide an opportunity for you to be notified if you've been exposed without you giving up any of your personal information. Tim Brookins, designer of the app and CEO of Proud Crowd, said in a statement to Valley News Live that jumbo privacy is wrong and his app protects users' information. In Fargo, Alexandra Kay, Valley News Live. Governor Burgum also thanked those using the CARE 19 app, saying that they are helping the economy restart.